Every time that we speak of stimulus plans as something that is going to provide some time for governments to reduce their fiscal imbalances and improve their uh, debt situation, it ends up working exactly the other way around. It is exceedingly important to understand why global debt has risen yet again. It had a very, very small improvement in the last couple of years because there was a bit of recovery in terms of growth. However, rate hikes have made many emerging economies lose their ability to repay their debt and become even more indebted because governments did not reduce their enormous deficit spending plans. The rate hike path was very evident. Inflation crept up. However, governments looked the other way and decided to continue with their massive deficit spending to an extent in which those public sector imbalances actually rose even when the extraordinary spending of COVID-19 was finished. So the big problem right now is that on the one hand, governments continue to fuel inflation by spending more new units of currency in the system while central banks rise and increase rates, which means that they will have more difficulties, the governments, to repay their debts. Furthermore, the fact that governments are not reducing deficit spending and they continue to uh, absorb, crowd out, credit in the economy means as well that the entire burden of policy normalization is falling on businesses and families. Therefore, the risk of stagflation remains and governments and the public sector continue to crowd out credit in an environment in which the availability of uh, debt and the flexibility of the financial system is becoming strained. Financial conditions are getting tighter and the whole situation makes it more difficult to get out of this enormous problem of debt that has been accumulated in the economy. Debt to GDP may be reduced because of nominal GDP. Debt is calculated relative to nominal GDP, therefore inflated by the same inflation that is making all of us suffer. Ultimately, this is not a good combination. High inflation, persistent inflation, with high debt and governments that don't want to reduce their fiscal imbalances, a very dangerous path.